scripture and a prayer. Pastor Arlen, thanks for joining me. I have a scripture for you. It's found in Romans chapter 4, verse 20. It says, He staggered not at the promises of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. Now, did you know that when you praise and give thanks to God, that you're putting your faith in action? It, it does. It takes faith just to look up and say, Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. That means you're putting your trust in Him. That means that you are just literally giving your heart of faith out, trusting that He is coming through for you, and that He did. He was the one that did it for you. And just as putting your physical body in action will make it grow strong, putting your faith in action will, through prayer, through worship, and giving of thanks will make it also grow strong also. But I want you to notice what this verse says about Abraham because it says no unbelief made him waver regarding the promises of God. What does that mean to waver? Have you ever thought about that? To waver? Well, really it means to go back and forth, back and forth. And it's kind of like the waves of the ocean. And sometime back I was watching them, they just go forward and then they would go back out to the ocean and they go forward and they go back into the ocean sometimes the waves would go a little bit further up on the sand and they go right back out waver well it's it is a very unsteady posture and spiritual wavering is when we go back and forth and believing the promises of god that's what it literally is whenever you waver and wavering shows up in our words and in our actions. And when you waver in your words, you are speaking contrary to God's promises. And when we waver, we won't see the blessings that God has for us. You could be so close to, to receiving those blessings, everything you prayed for, and then you begin to waver. It goes back out there in the ocean, you know. And then you get back into believing and it comes close so close to you. And then you waver again. It goes back out there in the ocean. The scripture says that Abraham never had unbelief or doubting thoughts. And to me, that's pretty big because, <laughs> I mean, we can look at the circumstances and it can, will literally, if we look at them, it will cause you to doubt and and get into unbelief because you see how the circumstances really look right there. But he says he took captive of every thought and he stood strong through his giving of thanks and praising God and worship. That's that's because praise makes you stable. It really does. It. Praise makes you strong. And when you take time every day to praise and worship God, you'll stand strong in faith, just like Abraham, and see the victory and blessings that God has in store for you. Well, I would like to say a prayer over all of you today. Father, today we just praise and thank you uh, because you are worthy to receive praise and glory and honor. Father, we thank you for every good and every perfect gift that you have for all of us today. And Father, we thank you for providing healing and strength and joy in our life. Father, we praise you for an abundant supply of all of our needs according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. We just thank you. I just want to give thanks to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well. Romans 4.20, he staggered not <laughs> at the promises of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. God bless you, and I'll see you next time.